Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition. If you're enjoying this series, leaving likes, comments, subscribing to the bell, turned on, helps out this series to grow. <sighs> Thank you so much. <clears throat> we are doing Crypt of the Heart. Crypt of the Heart! Yeah! Da, da, da. I investigated the area south of Markarth and was confronted by a ghost. After following the ghost and climbing up to the top of the mountain, I found a tomb surrounded by three forsworn and defeated them in battle. On the shaman, I found a note that implied that they defiled the tomb and took that knight's heart to Karth Spire. At Karth Spire, I found two hag ravens conducting a ritual with the heart at its center. I retrieved the heart and can now return it to the knight's tomb. Optional, purify the heart at the altar, return the heart to the knight's tomb. Uh, where is that? Reachwind Eerie, return the heart to the knight's tomb, and then there's a purification. No, that's the Forge Master's fingers. Oh, that's right. I think I literally put that there to remind myself, didn't I? So I guess we can optionally purify it there, huh? So, yes, let's go get the Forge Master's fingers, which is over in that direction. You feel warmer and are now more comfortable. Fantastic. And you know what? We'll adventure in third, per third person mode, because why not? Unless I can't get over this thing. Do I still not have gauntlets and, le and leggings like a f absolute fool? Or did I equip some? Oh, I yeah, that's right. We got the armor set. Okay, well, I wanted to do third person, but if I can't actually traverse the terrain, it's going to make that pretty difficult. Uh, that's right. We have a sprint button. It's so weird jumping from game to game to game to game. And a lot of people leave comments that are like, oh man, GV always forgets the simplest thing. It's like... First of all, have, have have fun having a really sporadic brain where it's hard to, like, remember everything and focus. Second of all, uh, try, like, recording, streaming, and then playing off camera like a whole bunch of different games and going back and forth between all of them. Uh, I'm not saying this to be spiteful. I'm saying this because it makes it difficult to remember even the simplest things, I feel like. Uh... Yeah, as I've always said, like doing this job is not as simple as it would seem. Yes, it's 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 it is simple overall, and it is you know easy overall, I guess. But still, at the same time, it's uh it comes with its own unique set of challenges that a lot of people I think don't recognize. We, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. Every time that happens, I start to freak out, thinking my legs are going to buckle under me and break. Uh, let's head in this direction, and while we're doing that, what can we talk about? Um, I could just cut, obviously, but I enjoy talking about random stuff as I'm heading over to... Let's get rid of that. Huh? Remove it. Let's go to... What is that? Druidak Readout. Uh, let's see. What can we talk about? Actually, I don't like doing third person. It feels weird. What can we talk about? Let's grab some elemental bolt and do one of these. Where did he go? He's just gone. Let me make sure I'm going the right way as well. Uh, what have I been playing off camera? I have been playing Elden Ring. Yeah, on and off camera, pretty much. I think here we're going to be safe and we're going to grab magic, shouts, and e become ethereal. Fine! But GV, it's pronounced ethereal! I know. I know it is. You don't have to type that into the comment section below. I know. I'm aware. I'm a smart boy. I know. Um... Anyways, yeah, Elden Ring, uh, just, yeah, 160 hours into my, oh, there's a dragon up there, 160 hours into my, uh, 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 main playthrough that we completed on Twitch, Karthwaist in, 160 hours into that, kind of cleaning up, uh, New Game Plus off camera and doing all the NPC quest lines of which there are 400,000, man, oh man, there are so many, it's crazy. <gasps> That's about it. I uh, recently rewatched the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I think I've talked about this, though. How far? Man, this is farther than I thought it was going to be, but just over the mountain, then we're good. And then there's also a orc stronghold, too, that we can turn this into, I'm assuming, and a dragon spire up there, which will get us a word. Uh, and yeah, man. Uh, ranking probably has been switched up a little bit. I love the Return of the Kings flavor-wise the most, but uh, the Fellowship of the Ring, surprisingly enough, I feel like is actually the strongest film in terms of the identity of the Lord of the Rings. I feel like it has the most integrity in terms of being... What the heck is going on with that texture? Okay, I think we'll save here, then we'll try to get this dragon done. I'm not too afraid, but I'm a little worried. What is going on with this, like, chameleon-esque 
Okay, do we just kind of... Where the heck is this guy? Uh, I don't know where this dragon is. Do I... Well, I saved. I guess we can just do this. Magic shouts become ethereal again. Fight. Whoa, my leg! Dragon Tooth Crater. Okay, let's do this. Uh, yeah, we need Mort out here. We need a Bound Sword. We need Unrelenting Force, I suppose. Do we not have a better shout for that? Ice Form, Kind's Peace. We have one Dragon Soul. Your Thuum Freeze an opponent solid, but that doesn't really work with this guy. Let's uh, go grab whatever this is. Loot the chest as well. Bandit Iron Shield, Orcish Armor of Eminent Alteration. And 284 gold. Give me the word. 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 Okay. Air Elemental Fury. Interesting. Interesting. Your Thuum imbues your arms with the speed of wind, allowing for faster weapon strikes. I will go ahead and unlock that. And then I will go ahead and try to find some potions that will give me resistance to fire. We'll apply that as well. Do we have any resistance? Looks like we don't. Target is 40% weaker to magic for 30 seconds. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, uh, we will just grab fast healing, I think. Do one of these. Here, already get rid of Mort. Where is Mort? Where is Mort? Where are you at? Okay, fast healing again. Crap, this is weird. But this is a very weak dragon, honestly. Oh, don't be flying. Come on now. Get your butt down here. We don't got all day. Come on. You're just a you're just a lesser dragon. Nobody likes you. Ba -ba -ba. We can take you out easily enough on extra difficulty, I think, even though your hitbox is very, very, very bizarre. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's apply a poison. Ba -ba -ba. And then we'll hit him with some elemental bolts. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's super he's 40% weak to this now. Let's try this. Yeah! Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, bound sword again. Yeah, I know. Hold on, Mort. We just gotta be patient. This guy's a loser. Where is he? Oh, did, is he flying? What in the what in the hell? This feels very, very awkward right now. I can't really explain unless you unless you were feeling what I was feeling with the controls. I know I complain about Skyrim being awkward as heck all the time, but it is. It just is. Uh, yoink. Thank you. Uh, Sky Skyrim movement-wise is very clunky and weird. It just has a specific feeling. It's not like a deal-breaker or anything. Thank you! Dragon Soul absorbed! It is by no means a deal-breaker or, you know, something super bad or anything like that. I'm just saying it is very, you know, how Skyrim feels in general with movement is very weird and, and bizarre. Especially, like, dragging out your your two spells and then trying to cast it, but you but you didn't wait the required time to fully pull your hands out. And so you end up missing the trigger charge and all that sort of thing. Which, hopefully some people understand what I'm talking about. Because I feel like when I talk about that, people are like, what is you to stop complaining about that? And I'm like, but but it's a thing that I would like to see improved, personally, uh, in, you know, in uh, in Elder Scrolls 6. hi -ya! Ooh, that did not do much. Okay, probably should not have wasted all my mana like that, because we've got some more baddies out here. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna get a bound sword, get unrelenting force. Let's do one of these. Nice. Let's get in there. I'm not too afraid. Okay, I'm a little more afraid based on how much damage this person is not taking, but yeah, we got some good damage actually. Oh my god! No, 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 no! Oh my god! No, 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 no! That was so close. I did not realize how much damage we'd take from that. Okay, that was a little bit scary. Uh, all right, so here we'll find the Forge Master's fingers. It looks like it within. Yeah, it's always scary when you do so much and then you forget to save. Although, not really forgetting to save. I just don't want to save. I, want, I try to push my luck because otherwise, what's the challenge? If we just saved after every two seconds, you know what would what what would be difficult about this? Okay, summon a one-handed sword. The air is warm here, and we'll also sneak a little bit. I think. Oh my God. Okay, we're going to be detected almost immediately, I'm pretty sure, because we've got no sneak. But, maybe not. Okay. All right, that was immediate. Yep. Hello. Oh, 
nice flurry. May I show you what I have? Goodbye, sir. Also, let me loot your body if you don't mind. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Okay. No, no, no. Don't get up. No, don't get up. Oh, man. I feel for you. How long that getting up animation is in Skyrim. My God. From rest. Which, honestly, is kind of cool because then you can capitalize on somebody being asleep as a strategy. Okay, we got a Briar Heart. Very, very, very scary. And they've got wards. Nah, I always tag Mort. Would have been cool to try and loot this guy's Briar Heart, as everybody says, because if you loot their Briar Heart, you pickpocket it. Oh, God, 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 God. Okay, gonna resummon Mort. Uh, there's somebody behind us. Let's get rid of them. They're just a force one. You're gonna die in like two hits. Yep. See ya. Okay, let's grab fast healing. Did he take out Mort? No, oh, Mort's still good. Okay, go back to Mort. Conjure Foul Zombie. Okay, you're doing great, Mort. As usual, fantastic job. Another one dead. Okay, one and a two and a... Yeah, that works. Okay, let's grab fast healing and get some restoration. Boop. All right, and glass dagger, briar heart, gold, silver side perch, and not much else. Okay, so yeah, I think this was placed randomly. So... I don't think these Forge Master's fingers are guaranteed to be here. Weight 5. Weapons and armor can be improved 12% better, which is not as good as our Ring of Silver Blood or whatever, right? Elven Mace of Immobilizing, which might be huge, actually. Gold, Steel Ingot, and a Welkin Stone. But we are a little overweight here, or over-encumbered. What can we drop? The Glass Dagger, the Orcish Dagger, the Steel Dagger of Dismay, but maybe they have a Disenchanting Table in here. I'm saying that not to be funny. I just say that on Iran. It's just, it's just like a thing that's in my vernacular now to call it a disenchanting table because that's what I use it for more. The rear gar, which is a light armor skill book, taking us up to 40, which is not bad. Uh, we could sleep to get our magicka back. Although, is it better to just kind of wait? Do you guys not have a disenchanting table in here? I guess you dumb force war don't really know how to do anything with magic anyway. Well, but yes, you do. Briarhearts do. Only Briarhearts, though? I'm not sure. Okay. So now, that's that gotten. What else do we have? There's like a couple more quest markers. I think one is all the way over in Iverstead, which we definitely need to make a priority. But, we probably should go down here, and then take Markarth back to Iverstead. We need to offload those bear pelts. Uh, yes, so, bring the Forge Master's fingers back to Burguk, which we will do. I cannot believe I very dumbly didn't realize that I had a horse, and that horse, you know, was one of those wild horses that we found, because now I have to hoof it, ironically, without hoofs. But anyways, uh, what, okay, so one is Forge Master's Fingers. Oh, and that's all, that's gonna be Iverstead all the way over there. <gasps> Wait! Alright, so now I'm wondering, do I show this? Because it has been very fun to show all of the, uh, exploration up until this point. But, um, now I just feel like it would be better to probably cut. Who is this, though? What was that, sir? Tell you what, you start running, so, uh, how about no? Uh, you're gonna get utterly destroyed here, I think. You are out of your depth. Much like Donnie in uh, The Big Lebowski. Yeah, sorry, fella. I don't know what you were expecting there, to be honest with you. What is that over there? It's another dwarven establishment. <gasps> we. So yeah, uh, I, I ask myself now, do I cut here or do I show the entirety of the exploration? I imagine most people probably want me to cut uh, considering it's just gonna be some random events. And plus I like to well, yeah, since I don't have a freaking horse. Okay, I'll see you when we get over. I'll obviously show if anything interesting happens. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I went and just grabbed our red horse, who I don't... I probably didn't come up with a name for just yet. Red, straw, uh, strawberry, uh, berry, uh, rasp. Uh, yeah, rasp. I probably did come up with a name, and I completely forgot about it. But we're going to have to just come up with names on the fly because we'll be getting a lot of different wild horses for that wild horse quest. What the heck is this? Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Run, please. Run, please. <gasps> Thank you so much. Uh, rasp. Like raspberry because it's a red wild horse. 
So that's this horse's name. I know I probably named it before, but its name now is Rasp. Uh, those are cultists. I'm not dealing with that. No, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, we've got that thing up there, but I think we save that until after we do... Oh, my God, these bears. I think we save that until after we do these uh, Forge Master's fingers. And if, hey, if you guys want to help me out, yeah. No offense. You're just gonna, gonna... Yeah, a fight indeed. Gonna bring this guy into here. I just want to see your orc strength exhibited. Okay, good luck with the bear. Good luck with the bear, everybody. Where the heck... Is it in here? I don't know what's happening, but we need to talk to this person, and they're not probably going to be able to talk to us until that bear is taken care of. Oh, my God. Get it, everybody. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, I should probably get some alteration here, shouldn't I? Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. Dang it. I don't believe it. You found the Forge Master's fingers. You've impressed me, Outlander. No one else has returned from this task before. By the code of Malachan, I name you Bloodkin to the Orcs. Let it be known among the strongholds that you are family now. This had better be worth all the trouble. Few outsiders earn the right to enter our strongholds. Speak with more respect, or we might forget your gifts. Feel free to trade with our smiths for orc weapons and armor. Train with my warriors, or purchase poisons from the wise woman. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Okay. Uh, why is it still playing combat music? One of the most asked questions in all of Elder Scrolls. Okay, where is Rasp? Hello, Rasp. Uh, so now we're welcome to go into any of the Orcish strongholds, which I'm not sure how important that is, but hey. Okay, now let's head back up to this mountain here and go check out... I, I absolutely detest when it won't stop with the combat music because it gets hard for me to be immersed in like what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, oh. And I'm not sure exactly why that even happens. See, like, I want to end this quest now and experience it in a cool way, but yet the music is, like, just all wrong. So maybe if we wait three hours, the game will kind of relax. Chill out, Skyrim. There's no combat. We're all good. Chill out. Place Heart Knight's Grave. Activate Shrine of Mara. Okay, I'm going to save here because I genuinely probably don't want to optional purify the... Other blessings removed, all diseases cured, blessing of bar added. So we can optionally purify the heart, but I think we don't want to do that as for the evil playthrough, right? So let's go ahead with this. Place heart knight's grave. Who dare disturb my ah! Defeat the corrupted knight who, oh my god, deals a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta get somebody out here ASAP. Ooh, nice. Okay, get in there, Mort. I love when Mort just stands there and goes, huh? <laughs> uh, Get in there, Mort. What are you doing, pal? All right, uh, this is scary. This guy is strong as hell. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, hopefully, we just get unrelenting force back and we can get some mana here. Do we have any potions that will restore mana? <gasps> Weak poison. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, vigorous magicka, sure. And then let's get uh, Bound Sword out here. Let's get ready to resummon Mort, who definitely is about to die. We'll play the long game here. Doing great, Mort. Doing great. All right, there we go. Eh. All right, and then we need some fast healing in our left hand. Yeah. This guy hits like a truck. Okay, we'll wait until we can uh, get. Uh, oh yeah, let's do oak flesh as well. Let's do oak flesh as well. Exactly what I'm talking about with like it being so weird. All right. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Gosh, it's so hard to freaking cast that. Okay, one and a two. One and a two. One. Oh, jeez, I thought that was me being dead there. Okay, retrieve the knight's armor. Oh boy, I am not gonna have enough equip rate for this. Ooh! Whoa, what is this? Ebony Spell Knight Helmet. Increase your magicka by 70 points. Ebony Spell Knight Armor. One-handed attacks to... I'm sorry. Did they make, like, a perfect armor set for me? Although it's heavy armor. Uh, One-handed attacks do 40% more damage. Ebony Spell Knight Boots. Carrying capacity increased by 50 points. Ebony Spell Knight Gauntlets. Destruction spells cost 25% less to cast. Has nobody told me about this quest in the comments section below? I mean, I know I said I didn't want to be spoiled. But, uh... Equip, 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 equip. And we are, we're only f six points over our carry weight, too. 
Okay. Apparel. How much does that vampire stuff weigh? Vampire royal armor, weight nine. So we'll drop this one, especially because it regenerates anyways. Spe Steel, spell knight, gauntlets, and boots will drop as well. Orcish armor of eminent alteration. Yeah, we need to go and disenchant this. Uh, holy crap, that's amazing. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> so it's all, it's all heavy armor, which is the sad part. But increase your magicka by 70 points. That's huge. That's seven levels worth of magicka. Uh, destruction spells cost 25% less to cast. That's pretty big. Uh, carrying capacity increased by 50 points. Extremely nice. One-handed attack do 40% more damage. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how does it look? It looks pretty neat as well. Yeah, very clean. All right, not bad. I'll take it. Uh, so now, let's see. We need to go to Iverstead and unpack those bear pelts. It's probably, pro that's probably uh, priority number one. So unfortunately, looks like maybe Riften would be the way to go. Maybe we go to Riften and we clean up our business there and then go to Iverstead. That seems like a smart thing to do. So what do we have in Riften? Not Riften. Not Riften. Not Riften. Not Riften. Not Riften. Riften. <gasps> not Riften. Not Riften. Not Riften. The Staff of Hazeka. Oh, we should get that as well. Yeah. Wait, where's this? Out in the middle near White Run, it looks like, because I think that is where it is, even though it's not showing me. Uh, not Riften. Riften. Not Riften. Riften, and then anything here that we know is in Riften. Purchase Honeyside. We're not doing that. Visit the museum in Dawnstar, Stormcloak, Rebellion, Bunch of Horses, Temba Wide Arms, Alessandra, Pure Mixtures, Unusual Gem. Okay, where was this? Where was Alessandra again? She's in Riften? Return to Dinya Baloo? She's not in Riften, right? I hate that it doesn't tell me where this is. All right, let's take off Temba White Arms for now and then do this. Where is Alessandra? Is she in Riften? I guess she is in Riften. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's a whole lot of stuff to clean up in Riften. Uh, where is Rasp? Son of... What are you doing all the way over there, Rasp? I need you to stay close to Papa at all times. Please and thank you. Okay, so we need to head over to Markarth's stables now. So we're not doing too hot in terms of... In terms of... Uh, resources or what I need a better word to call this thing we're not doing too hot in terms of survival bars health bars bars resource bars stamina magicka etc what do I call that it's gonna be a better word to call that uh, anyways I will see you all once we arrive in Riften okay and we have arrived in Riften uh, okay, one of them is outside in the fishery, but that's quite all right. Hello, boys. Let's go inside. We are not doing too well with our resource bars. Our, our bars. I guess we'll just call them our bars. Uh, let's go see Dinya Balu first and foremost. We get a really good, really good reward from this quest, although it's a multi-part quest that takes quite a long time to do. The are they reforming the Dawn God? That's insane. Are they actually reforming the Dawn God? Wow. Blessings of Mara upon Hello. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I help the forlorn lovers of Markov. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms, and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Okay. What can you tell me about Mara? Mara is the handmaiden of Kine. If you wish to make a donation... Pretty sure we've listened to that already. To okay, so like I said, you get a really good quest reward from doing that one. So we're going to make sure to get that accomplished. Let's also remove our quest Is marker. Remove our custom... Remove our custom marker. And then down here should be Alessandra. I can't... My brain is telling me that she was definitely in Whiterun, but obviously I'm wrong. Hello. The pilgrimage is complete. I can feel it. I gave the dagger to Anders. I felt a caress on my cheek some time ago. I thought it to be a trick of the wind, but I think it was a message from my father. 
We've made peace with one another without even uttering a single word. And I'm content for the first time in my life. I thank you. Here, please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your selfless action. Accept what? Please, come back and speak to me anytime. She didn't give me anything! <gasps> Is that a bug? Okay, yeah, she actually flat out did not give me a, a dang thing. Uh, we're also not going to do, I think, this one. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business and working overtime. Uh, so, last thing we want to do. Where is this? Speak to Viri about taking over the bounty. Why is it telling me to go? It's telling me to go outside, but can't we just go to the fishery? Or is she in some other weird spot? And we need to get some rest. We are... Not doing too hot. This goes to the fishery, right? Isn't she just right outside, leaning against the wall near the fishery? This was a big mistake not... Uh, yeah, here she is. This was a big mistake not just getting this quest earlier on. But oh well. You live and learn. Uh, okay, hello, broom. Hi. <gasps> yeah. Hello. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. Where can I find maps of fishing spots nearby? You know Bellathor's shop in Whiterun? That'd be a good place to start. He carries all sorts of things like that. I managed to find a juvenile mud crab for you to study. Here you go. Thanks. Couldn't have done that without you. I'm grateful for your efforts. Here, take this. Hey, look at that. So we actually just got the quest done because we had, I was going to say, I think we had a juvenile mud crab. Even though you can find one out in the wilds, but I think we fished it up. Know of anyone in need of fishing work around Skyrim? You're headed to Falkreath. It's all in this note. Okay, Bounty Glassfish. Read Bounty Glassfish. I'm assuming this is just like a repeatable thing. Uh, let's see. Book Bounty Glassfish. A single glassfish is needed for a potion that a client has requested. I cannot leave my shop unattended during the daylight hours. So I have no choice but to request that someone else acquire this fish for me. Please see me at my establishment, Grave Concoctions, in Falkreath, once you have a glass, the glass fish. A reward of 100 gold will be granted, plus an additional reward for any who might be willing to assume more work regarding a private matter. Zarya. Okay. Now, clear-headed. Yeah, that's right. I think we started this last time, too, right? Obtain a glass fish for Zarya in Falkreath. Now, for the remainder of this episode, let's just go ahead and... I go back to I won't. Or we could get this quest here, you, which also gives you, you a unique... Free me of my okay, brain. sure, yeah. Lexicon, Burden, what are you talking about? The memories, I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Vanshenzel. You must take the Lexicon from me. Please, take it now. It's okay, I'll take the Lexicon. You must bring it to a Vanshenzel, in the West. Return it to them. It must go back. Okay. Started unfathomable depths. And then let's, yeah, let's just fish a couple of times before we end the episode here. Take the lexicon to Evangenzel. I have no idea, like I said, what the RNG is determining what fish we get, if the weather actually matters or time of day actually matters. Yeah, reeled it in too early. <gasps> and what should we talk about? Uh, recently been getting into Tame Impala. Uh, I feel like I missed the boat on that one because I think Tame Impala is much more popular than I realize. Um, trying to get into Psychedelic Rock, which I really like because of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, which is still like, yeah, has quickly become one of my favorite bands of all time. Silverside Perch. Uh, Tame Impala wouldn't, didn't really get into that much, although Currents, which I guess is their most popular album, I did enjoy quite a bit. I tried to get into lonerism. wasn't really my thing. What else have I been listening into? I tried to try to get into the OCs as well. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. The OCs is it like the OCs, like the California, like like county or whatever? The OC? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, try nothing has really scratched the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard itch, unfortunately. I won't go back. All recommendations of people that uh a tankard. Okay. All recommendations of people that have talked about bands that are similar to King Gizzard. Doesn't really nothing nothing really struck a chord with me as much as King Gizzard, but yeah, they're coming to Colorado soon, and I'm still wondering if I should buy tickets because the tickets are expensive as all hell, but 
Yeah, King Gizzard remains easily one of my favorite bands that I've recently gotten into, at least. Yeah! Oh! Speak to Zaria, but Zaria's over in Falkreath. Okay, all right, we'll do one last fish. Sweet, there we go. I don't know if that applies to the other quests, since we have two fishing quests active at the moment. But yeah, if anybody knows of any psychedelic rock bands that are, you know, somewhat like, uh... Ugh, somewhat like, uh... King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, feel free to let me know. Let's drop that crap real quick. Uh, what was it? Empty wine bottle and a tankard. Get the heck out of my inventory. All right, and that's where we end for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode and series in general, remember leaving likes, comments, subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out the series grow. Thank you to those who do that. And massive thank you to my patrons, as well as names you're about to see. Bye-bye. <laughs>